climate change will have a significant impact on safety at sea, making it more dangerous to operate at sea and making particularly small-scale fishes more vulnerable to accidents. From a physical point of view, uh, a warm ocean generates more storms, higher frequency and intensity of storms and hurricanes that we have seen recently in different parts of the world. Sometimes fishes don't have time to go back to the harbour. Climate change is affecting distribution of resources and so it is very possible that so some fishes need to go further offshore to find the fish and therefore becoming more exposed to what is happening in weather and climate uh, sphere. All those elements make uh, fishing very dangerous and it's very important that we provide support to fishers to reduce that casualty rate. We help countries design boats that are uh, unsinkable, they are more resistant, they are long-lasting, so that we reduce the vulnerability of small-scale fishes. We have vessel engineers working with us, some of the most expert people around the world, that devote their attention to this important activity that needs to be protected better. Recently we worked with Sri Lanka in boats that are made of plastic, so moving from wood vessels to plastic vessels. That increases the lifespan of those vessels and also designing in a way that are uh, unsinkable. And also you can hide under the prow if there's a storm. Those designs, we provide them completely free of charge to the countries. They are available on our website, sometimes offer two or three um, models to begin with for them to test. And then uh, it is up to them to start building them following those plans. Our work, our portfolio is very diverse. We run a training of trainers course that uh, has been uh, conducted in the Caribbean, uh, in East Africa, in the Bay of Bengal, in Asia, in the Near East region. Regular courses to train those that train fishermen on how to be safe when being at sea. In the case of emergencies, we provide equipment uh, to small-scale fishers. Uh, that equipment could be life jackets, it could be buoys, it could be VHS and radio equipment to get them up to speed and back into operation after an emergency. We also work with other UN agencies, the ILO, the Labour Organization, and the IMO, the Maritime Organization, to make sure that safety at sea is connected to uh, working conditions of those that operate in the sea.